Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you how to store and organize your photos in the Finder instead of using the Photos app. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 500 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content. So I love using the Photos app and that's where I put all of my personal photos. But sometimes I want to store a separate group of photos. Maybe for work, maybe a clip art collection, maybe I'm working with a set of photos from somebody else. You could store these as folders in the Finder and there's a lot of functionality there. You could use the four Finder views to easily view the photos. You can use Quick Look. You can use Preview for Editing. Editing. You can even do things like slideshows and use comments and tags. So what I've done here is I've created a Library 1 folder in my Pictures folder. That means it won't be synced with iCloud. I could put this in my iCloud Drive folder if I want that. I can then create multiple folders like Library 1, Library 2 or give them names in my Pictures folder here. And then I have folders in them that contain the different photos. Now I can use the four different views of the Finder to view these photos. So here I am in Column View and I can select a photo and see a big preview of it on the right. If you don't then you need to go to View and instead of Hide Preview this will say Show Preview and you can turn this on. Grab the line here and shrink or grow the preview area or the right side of the window as well. And in addition to the photo you're going to see all sorts of information here about it. So depending upon what type of camera was used you could see here I've got for instance, longitude and latitude information even because it's from an iPhone. So it's not as useful as location but uh, at least you can see there's location data there. But you can see all the camera settings here. Now let's switch to List View. And in List View you only see stuff in the current folder. I can go up a level. I'm going to use Command Up Arrow and I can see the various folders here. And I can click this Reveal Triangle to reveal the photos in there. I can use the arrow keys to get around inside. I can also bring up a preview area here which is useful for photos. So I'm going to do View, Show, Preview. And now when I select a photo I could see the preview there and I could drag this line here to make that a little bit bigger. So I can use the arrow keys now to go through here. If I want to open up a folder I can use the right arrow when I'm over the folder and it will open up the folder and I can go down. I can use the left arrow to close a folder. So I can still navigate using the keyboard and get nice previews with all this information here in List View. This view also allows me to sort really easily so I can sort by date, modified, or different things. Icon view is very useful because you can see your photos as thumbnails. So I'll go into here and I can see these thumbnails here. I can use the slider at the bottom right corner to change the size. If you don't see this slider do View and then you want to say Show Status Bar. So you turn that on and that's the slider there at the bottom. So I can increase these to quite a large size to be able to see them. I could also sort them by using Sort By and then I could sort by name which would then put them in the order for the file names here. I could also do it by date for instance. And you could still bring up the preview on the right if you want so you can select the file and still see all this extra information. And you can navigate using the arrow keys left, right, up, and down to get through all these photos to go up I just use Command Up Arrow and I'm back at the top level. I can then move over to another folder and then go Command Down Arrow to go into that folder and then use the arrow keys here to navigate around inside them. Now Gallery View is really made for this. So you can see a list of photos at the bottom. You can use the arrow keys to go through them. And you see a very large preview in the middle of the screen and you get all your information here on the right as well. So what about metadata? You can name photos very easily by selecting a file and then hitting return and now you can rename them something you want. So you can create titles for each one of these by changing the name of the file. You can also do Command I and in here you've got tags which would be Finder tags shared with all the files on your Mac. But you can type comments as well and these will be searchable so you can actually add descriptions for these. And you can see comments in List View as a column if you enable it. So you could use comments as titles. For instance I can name this one Bridge and then if I go into List View I can do Command J, Turn on Comments as a column and then if I hide the preview here so I have more room you can see I can see Bridge right there and I can even sort by these. Also note that if you don't want to use Command I for each and every photo you can do Option Command I and this brings up an inspector which changes with whatever you have selected. So you can use the arrow keys, go through and you can see all this information. You can even have this preview in here so you can expand this window a bit and then you could turn off the preview here on the right and now you can use this inspector here for preview, for changing comments, 
for changing the file name and adding tags. So for more viewing you can use the space bar and that brings up Quick Look which is this huge window here and you could still click on things in the finder there and Quick Look will just adjust to show what it is you have selected. But you could also use the arrow key. So I can use the arrow key to go up and you can see it changes the file and changes Quick Look here. You can expand Quick Look to full screen if you want. Enter markup or rotate through Quick Look. There's an open with preview button here but you could also just double click on a file and it will open it up in preview. And here you can do a little more with it because in preview you can export the image so you can do stuff like compress it, change it to another format. You could also go into markup here which is a little different because it has the color adjustment tools. So you have some color adjustment tools. Not as much as you have in photos but you can make some adjustments here in preview and save. Also note that editing in photos is non-destructive meaning that you can always revert back to the original. You can kind of do the same here if you're using preview to edit things. So for instance let's add a shape here and let's also do some color adjustments and then I'm going to save. So Command S for save and now you can see that's what the photo looks like. But if I go back into preview and then I go to file I can do revert to and I can browse all versions and I enter a time machine like mode here and I can go back to previous versions like this one and restore it. And Now you can see I have that version back. So in a way it's even better because you can go back to previous versions not just the current version or the original. And you can even do slideshows in the finder. You can just select photos. So I can select a group of them in here by shift clicking and then you can see I have a bunch of them there. If I hit the space bar for a quick look I can flip through them with the arrows here. I could also click here to see this thumbnail view of all of them. If I change to full screen by clicking that button then I can hit play in addition to the arrows and now I can actually have it go through the slides automatically one by one. A fundamental difference between using files and folders and albums in the Photos app is that the photos are really in here. The files are really in this folder. So I can't have the file in more than one folder without duplicating it. But you can use aliases to kind of do this. So for instance let's go and create a new folder and we'll call this Favorites. And instead of dragging the actual photos in there. What I'm going to do is hold the Option and Command keys down and drag this in there and you can see that little curved arrow that was over the icon. And This creates an alias to that folder in there. So I can do this with a bunch of other photos here. Let me drag this one in here. Let me go to these photos here and I'll just drag this one in here. Another one. Drag that one in there. And now I've got a Favorites folder but these are all aliases. You can see the icons show they're an alias or shortcut to the file. But if I select it I still see the photo just as before. And I could double click and it will open it up in Preview just as before. So it's a link to the photo where it actually is. And in fact you can select one of these and Control click on it and then use Show Original to go to where it's originally located. So you can kind of create albums like this Favorites album even if you're organizing your photos in the Finder. You could also use a system like this for your videos. I like to store my videos separate from my photos library since they take up so much space. And also I find this works better than having multiple photo libraries because you have to restart photos and switch between them and you can't work with photos from more than one library at the same time. I store my huge collection of personal photos in the Photos app and then I use a system like this to store things for work and other projects. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.